Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while, isn't it? Too long, I know. I've been doing other projects, so uh, been a little bit busy, but I thought I'd just do a quick catch up and show you some stuff I've been doing in the garden and particularly what I've been doing with a load of old rubbish. So this is a, a new one. I've just made 40 minutes, all recycled. Top comes off here. Cat hair from three rescue cats goes in there hopefully um, and this is just one brushing where you've got a ferminator and they are takes all their under hair out in this weather the cats just let you do anything to them they just want to get cool so just put that in there that was one brushing that i've got like half a pound of hair and i've got to do this with one hand there you go and there and there you go what will happen is the birds can come along this is an old bit i had left over aluminium hold aluminium sheeting from a, um, the ground nesting bee habitat I made a few months ago so they can come along and hopefully just play at it pull it out and they'll make tufts I can't actually do it because you know why I haven't got a beak but <laughs> they'll be able to do it and then uh, that can go near the three new birds nests I made and acquired so with that in mind let's, uh, let's take you out of the workshop it's roasting today so I'm going to make this a quick one because oh, I don't know if I've got it in me to, to do this out in the sun for too long. The meadow is looking nice, it's a couple of months I shall cut it down but we've got foxgloves in there and birdsfoot trefoil and uh, herb robert and pink pulsane and white clover, quite a lot of stuff. got this lovely plant here actually which I can't remember what it is but it's beautiful flowers and they go really tall. And they're everywhere here which is really good so let's take you quickly around and show you what i found so while we're here vegetable gardens coming on well all that planting your veg into the garden has been a brilliant idea You've got yellow courgettes have all come up but these are in uh, grow bags kale and more compost there and all of these butternut squashes are all from stuff out of the garden way so I've allowed those to grow alongside the veg and when the veg are done leave those and off you go so you've got more stuff growing in here I've pulled all that out and it's been really successful but if we come over here I was on a nature walk the other day and uh, I went past a skip and someone had thrown these away so you've got a lovely hardwood bird nest box there with the holes are just up in the corner I don't know if you can see them but either side there's a hole there another one I made here which is a little rob uh, little blue tip nest box I just put that in the middle and then down here you've got a robin's nest box which again was in a skip who would do such things I've given them a coat of green paint and I'll do that with the uh, the new fur dispenser and that will hide that in this undergrowth as well and hopefully it will give these birds loads of stuff next year okay so that's really it i just wanted to have a catch up and before i melt but um i will be doing more videos i've just had a massive project on the go which actually is unrelated to wildlife so it's really crap but uh, <laughs> i don't like ones that are not related to making stuff for wildlife but um, if we go back in, I shall finish up. Um, please uh, spread the word if you can and like and subscribe because uh, I want to be able to do half an acre a month. Not quite there, but not far off, but it would be really nice, especially in light of what's been going on in Germany. And I think the eyes have been, open, been opened in a, with a lot of leaders and they're acting like, oh, didn't see this coming, even though we, well, the scientists in the world and people like us have been telling them for decades but there you go I think finally we might be able to uh, to have some change and it, it won't be easy because about 90% of the world's population either don't know or don't care particularly in Western societies all they care about is their jet skis and driving fast cars and caring about kicking a ball around which is far more important than saving the planet on which you kick the ball around but there you go but um never mind that's another story but thanks for watching guys and i shall meet you soon in the workshop to do another build hopefully cheers